So, I haven't played Play Wild in close to about five years. Or Animal Jam. Uh, I think it's meant to be called Animal Jam now. The app version of Wildworks' game, Animal Jam, is... It's whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, one of the new game features is the pet adoption token. Uh, this is a relatively new addition, only added about two months ago, uh, on June 2nd, 2021. Uh, it quickly gained mass popularity amongst the players of Animal Jam, or, or Play Wild, whatever. I'm going to call it Animal Jam now, just to remain technically correct, but I'm pretty sure everyone still says Play Wild, so I'm not sure what the whole point of... Well, that's not the point. <laughs> that's not the point. Finally, with this new item, Unrare Players, if you'd want to call them that, have finally got a shot at getting their dream pets without having to trade an arm and a leg for them. Or at least I think that was the idea. Anyway, this feature was introduced to bring awareness to the hundreds of pets in real life who are left without homes. In one of Animal Jam's Instagram posts, they claim to have introduced this feature to bring awareness to these pets in need, as an encouragement to adopt pets from shelters rather than buying new ones. Players are encouraged to care for their virtual pets, earning pet adoption tokens along the way. Although that's what they were trying to accomplish with this new feature, however I don't know if it was fully effective in its good intentions. Costing a steep 100 sapphires, this feature has made Animal Jam's pets even more disposable than they were before, which is completely contradictory to the message that they are trying to convey. Players will buy, trade and earn tokens in attempts to redeem their dream pets from the machine. However, the machine does not let you choose what pet you want. You get a randomised pet, and not only that, the colours on your pet are also randomised. Pets that are deemed ugly, worthless or otherwise undesirable are traded away for scraps or thrown into the virtual abyss for the garbage collector's consumption. And the probability of getting a pet that you don't like at all are frighteningly high. At the time this video was recorded, there were 66 different pets that were available through these pet adoption tokens. That means that there's a minuscule 1.5% chance of owning that pet that you're hoping for, not to mention the fact that its colours will be randomised and most likely not something that you're going to like. This led me to wonder, what actually are the chances of getting a pet that I'd like? My first thought was that the rarer pets or the pets that are more highly in demand would be less likely to get using a pet adoption token. I thought that the chances of perhaps getting a sugar glider would be lower than, you know, the chances of getting a pet hamster or something. Of course, um, as Murphy's Law would have it, as soon as I spent about 10,000 sapphires on pet adoption tokens to conduct my little experiment, uh, <laughs> Animal Jam had added a probability button onto their token. Thanks guys, um, you basically just rendered this entire experiment useless. But anyway, I still had some really interesting takeaways from my little experiment. Initially, I tried buying 10 adoption tokens, but as this feature would have it, it's very gambling-esque, I decided that 10 was not enough, so I bought 100. <laughs> I recorded the outcomes of redeeming these tokens, and I created a tally of all the redeemed pets, which I will show later in this video. In particular, I was looking for three very popular pets, the sugar glider, the rooster, as well as the peacock. Now, a common misconception that you may have is, let's say, if there are about 66 different pets, then you'd say, well, if I were to buy 66 tokens, surely I'd get at least one of every pet, because the chance of getting any pet is 1 in 66, right? In fact, getting only one of each type of pet with only 66 tokens is incredibly uncommon. This is because each time you redeem a token, there is a 1 in 66 chance that you will get a certain pet. So if you were to do this 66 times, that means that you'd need that 1 in 66 chance to be true for each different pet that you wish to obtain. Basically what I mean by this is, even if you were to buy 66 tokens, which is still a lot of sapphires, that does not mean that you're actually going to get that pet that you want, and non-token pets are valued way more highly than the token pets are. Which is a bit of an issue considering the whole point of this feature is to bring awareness to wanting to adopt pets instead of buying them. Although that is not the point, and I can appreciate the message that they're trying to convey here. Now I'm going to show you a brief overview of all the pets that I got from my tokens. As you can see, there was actually quite a huge number of pets that I didn't end up getting at all. This very easily could have been all of my desired pets, meaning that I spent 10,000 sapphires and ended up with a whole bunch of pets that I didn't actually want. Luckily for me, this wasn't the case. I was fortunate enough to have gotten a nice number of desirable pets, namely 4 roosters, 3 gliders and a peacock. 
However, I could have just as easily have been making this video complaining about how I spent so many sapphires on tokens, yet didn't get any of the pets that I wanted. So although the chance of getting any pet is equal, that doesn't mean that you'll necessarily end up getting the pet that you want. It was quite possible to spend 10,000 sapphires on 100 pet adoption tokens, and you'd still not get all of the pets. As I showed in my example, there were still 26 pets I ended up not getting at all, even though I spent 10,000 sapphires on trying to get them. Remember to keep this in mind when you're trading for tokens, buying tokens, redeeming tokens, or buying pets from a shop. Not only are the chances of redeeming the pet that you want are slim, the chances of it being colours that work together nicely and a set of eyes that you enjoy is even slimmer. But at the end of the day, no matter what kind of pet you get or what they look like, they'll still make great virtual companions for you and your adventures in Animal Jam. This feature was a nice nod towards the desperate crisis that many animals face in their daily lives. Although their intentions are good, I'm not sure if that's what the community took away from this new feature. But nevertheless, I still like this new feature and I think it's added a nice dynamic to the game, as well as allowing many players an opportunity for players to get the pets that they've wanted without having to be super rare and trading all of their favourite items for it. And I'm not saying it's bad treating pets and animal jam as a trading commodity, I think it's also just important to remember why this feature was added and how to remain aware about the world around us. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video informative and I hope you get even luckier than I do if you try recreating this experiment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and perhaps I'll see you in another video soon. Cheers guys.